Greetings LEGO fans! From the Avengers series, this week I'm pleased to bring you the Avengers Compound Battle. This is kit number 76131 and has only 699 pieces, so it shouldn't take too long to do. So without further ado, let's get started.
When I picked up this kit from the store, I have to admit that I only chose it because of the Hulk and Thanos giant minifigures that come with it. I really wanted to have them to collection and I didn't see a whole lot of value in the rest of the kit. But that's because this kit wasn't made for me. I'm easily drawn in by the collector and display kits out there. But now that I've built it, I can see that there's so many interactive components to this kit that it'll inspire the active imagination to many, many hours of joyful playtime. Starting with the garage, we've got this yellow and black barrier that goes up and down, the garage door which opens and closes, a satellite dish which rotates all the way around, and a pair of twin stud shooters mounted on top. And just on the side, we have the door where the minifigures would enter and exit the garage, and a nice assortment of tools which are all set for whatever vehicle maintenance or repair that is required. Which brings us to the first floor of the next section, the vault where they have Thanos' glove locked away. Over in the front, we have a door that's secured with a combination key lock, and as we swing around to the back, we can see the glove is securely locked away behind some kind of laser security system. But if the glove is what you desire, there's a little tab on the side that you can pull on to gain access. And as you can see, it's currently equipped with the green and purple infinity stones. Moving on up to the second floor, we have a little meeting room that's got seating for three. And should the unforeseen happen, lifting up the table, we have a set of emergency weapons. And to access this meeting room, we have a high security rotating door off on the side. Mounted on the roof above that, we have a twin laser cannon, with projectiles that are a little bit stronger than a stud shooter is mounted above the garage. And then we come to the vehicles. For starters, we have this little Jeep, with seating for one, and then whoever wants to stand in the back can man the stud shooters. And then we come to the helicopter, with only seating for one, but does have a rapid fire six stud shooter in the front. And to complete the scene, we have a whole whack of minifigures to play with. Starting with the big guys, we have Thanos with his hammer and the Hulk. Next to them, we have Captain Marvel, who comes with a host of cool little features. First, she's got these little fire blasts coming out of her feet as if she's flying around, these two big energy projectiles coming out of her hands, and you can switch those up for these little fire fists, which are kind of fun. And then we have Iron Man with his hand-mounted projectiles, Nebula, an Outrider, and a tiny little Ant-Man. So I think it's fair to say that my opinion on this kit has changed. While I'm certainly not going to display it, and it's certainly going to end up in my part bin, for the young collector, there's a huge amount of value in this kit, and I think a lot of fun would be had. And I think that covers this Avengers kit, which honestly has a lot more than I thought it would. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe, and I hope to see you back here next week.